let's go back. I mean, like, let's go way back to pretty much what inspired this channel to begin with, well, besides seeing Ashens, but it was what was on his channel that got me started on my channel as well. Pop stations. <laughs> Boy, it has been a long, long time since we looked at one of these, and frankly, I'm kind of excited to check this out with you guys. So yeah, these are still floating around eBay, but to be honest, I don't know how old this particular one is, but I will say, uh, I think it is pretty old because for one, the plastic has started to yellow a bit. I don't know if the camera's really picking that up, but it's got a little bit of yellow to it. And two, uh, when I was cutting this open, the scissors weren't really what was getting the plastic open. It was the fact that the plastic was so brittle that it was just breaking apart into chunks. So yeah, there we go. And there's no way I'm going to get this all in one shot here, but I'm going to try my best from various angles here. So what is the name of this thing? Well, it's hard to tell because they tucked it in behind the the cartridge there, but let's turn it around. Oh, here we go. It is the game player. Here, could that be our thumbnail maybe? Yeah, maybe. Nah, we got to get the game in there. So not much on the back in terms of words. It just tells us what it's coming with. We have some familiar ones like City Fighter, Soccer, but we got some new ones like Foreign Line Chess, Tennis, and Hockey. So, are these, hold on, are these pop stations we've just never seen before, or are they still making new ones? I mean, good God, if they still are, I don't even know why. Uh, folding cover, single double player mode can be selected, and then there's, of course, the obligatory arrangement of what are probably stolen deviant art artworks. Fantastic. So yeah, we've already got the batteries in it, we've already tested it to make sure it actually works. I got the packaging pre-sliced open, so we're going to go ahead and take a look here. I couldn't wait. I just had to get in. I was like, should I say something to commemorate? I'm like, no, nah, just let's get in there. We got to look at a pop station for old time's sake. So I think this is the one that Ashens looked at a long, long time ago. I think he called it the, what do you call it? The Neo Quad game, something like that. So it's got, there we go. Let's get a good shot there yeah gotta get the gotta get a good thumbnail so this is the unit itself although his was in like a white or silver this one's in black nothing on the bottom at all and what you see is what you get really now the unit feels cheap enough you know it feels like it would possibly break if mishandled even just a little bit but the controller now, these do have some screws you could take it apart, but if you really wanted to take this apart, and I mean, it'd be the one only time, I really think you could snap this in your fingers like Jerry Rig Everything style, except without needing nearly as much pressure. This is extremely thin plastic. I, I don't know how they keep doing it, but I feel like every knockoff I look at has thinner plastic. We're gonna get to the point where it's just tissue paper. Um, I don't think it mattered which controller went into which port. They are labeled like Master and Slave, well, Slaver, you know, I guess it's the sequel. But yeah, goes into the Player One port right there. <sighs> Got the lighting set up. Man, it's been a long time. Pop station time. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's just the one, <clears throat> the one sound setting. Oh, good, it's yelling at us in bird. That was, hold on, stop chirping for a second. That was Hello My Baby, and um, yeah, this is City Fighter, you know, the one where it looks like they rip their arm off and throw it across the screen to launch a projectile punch, that sort of thing. Yeah, you know what, let's, uh, let's do this justice, right? Hold on. There we go, looking good. Oh, you know what? I gotta take the twist tie off the... Nah. We're good. We're good. We're gonna work with it as is. See, I'm not even gonna bother playing this game. We have all seen City Fighter. We've known what City Fighter's all about for the past, what, 18 years now? Um... Hmm. I forgot about this. The games are kind of a B word to get out. Sure, that one's easy, but... I don't have a fingernail long enough, but... They're so loose, they just fall out. <laughs> and now, nothing holds up this screen... So it's literally just, bloop. Yeah, it, no, nothing holds it up. If gravity forces it down, then it's going down on you. 
don't take that out of context. Uh, oh, we can see the wires in there. <laughs> oh, I love that quality. There's nothing in the hinge except for just this rainbow of wires. It's, oh, it's so god awful and at the same time beautiful. Wait, hockey. We almost forgot hockey. Hold on. And you know what? Because hockey decided to hide away in the packaging, we're looking at him next. It's the ultimate punishment. On, please. One, I've definitely heard Pop Stations play these songs before, so these are nothing new to Pop Stations, but I will say the volume on these speakers is so loud, some of the notes, it sounds like the speaker's about to rip in half or something. It's like a Dank Pods video where you whip out the thing that blows them up. Uh, sound, I guess. <laughs> sound, he said reluctantly. <laughs> I couldn't do it with the sound, but I, I like the little skitter around noise. I mean, like the little... Okay. Now the game's actually going. Who am I controlling, though? Why is the guy dancing? Why are they dancing around in the bottom left? It still says game over. Hold on. Start. Start again, maybe? Okay, now we're doing something. Uh, guys, I never plugged in the controller. <laughs> I never plugged in the controller. No wonder why I haven't looked at pop stations in a while. They break me. I... They truly make me speechless. Oh, now I'm the goalie. And they scored a goal. Okay. This is really just the soccer game with different graphics, isn't it? You know, because you go up and down. Like, that's your field pitch, right? And now I'm on the bottom again. This is just the soccer game with new graphics. They didn't make a new game at all. Here we are trying... They're trying to make us believe that the, the R&D at Pop Station Incorporated has been working round the clock for years to make the new blockbuster game that'll blow us all away. No, no, they just changed the sprites. <laughs> now that's a Pop Station classic song right there. Oh, now that's enough out of you. All right. I think I started. Nope. Got to hit salt and pepper again. And the second time, I think. Am I playing now? Okay, I'm the blinky guy. That button changes what guy's blinky. How do I get the ball from you? You have the ball. I would like it instead, please. No, stop it. Give me the ball. You're not... This literally makes as little sense as the soccer game. I mean, the hockey game. I mean, the whatever game. Who even knows? Who ever knew with the pop station? These are an incredible anomaly of just... How do they still exist? Why do they still exist? Was this made recently? I think that actually gave me hearing damage. So we're going to start that. <laughs> so this is tennis, uh, supposedly. Let's, let's see. Oh, no, I think I just paused it because a little coffee cup icon showed up. Okay, now I just unpaused it. I just served it. Yep. Coming back to me. How do I swing? Does it swing automatically? It went right through. Neither button swings the racket. I'm pressing both buttons. There's only the A and B buttons and the D-pad. This may come as a surprise, but the analog nubs on the controller aren't real. Game one. Wait, did I just raise my racket up? No. How did I do that before? Oh, I hit the button. It went. Oh my god, we return to serve. It's coming back. Hold on. Hey, there we go. How's it with the sound? Let's try it, huh? Oh. <laughs> you know, like real tennis makes. Oh, did I hit it out? I hit it out. Oh. And everything was ruined and the world ended. You know what? We're gonna call. We're gonna say the CPU won that one. G good for you, CPU. That we're all very happy for you. And last, we have four, four in line chess. This is gonna be Connect Four, isn't it? If I remember correctly, it is. 
Yeah, it's Connect 4. <laughs> Start. Skill 1, level 1, game 1. I guess that's what we're looking at. Sure. Start. Ah, there we go. And that was enough out of you. Um, I think I had a Connect 4 handheld game as a kid. Uh, and the graphics were like exactly like this. Wait. Wins? How, wait a minute. Did we win? The game's over? What happened here? That's just... What, what is happening? What, what is life even? What is this? This is Connect 4 for the incompetent. How do you... I don't... I think the handheld I had 30 years ago worked better than this. I cannot figure out how to start this. <gasps> Wait a minute, I just remembered something. Let me zoom the camera back out. Ugh. There we go. Because I just remembered there was instructions. Pop stations always have a single sheet of toilet paper for instructions. Give me that. Ugh. Come on. I don't want to crumple it. There we go. I didn't fold it unevenly like, uh, unevenly like that. It came like that. This is incredibly long. So, there's nothing on the back. It's blank. I'm going to slowly scroll across. If you want to have some good reading material, I'm sure you could find it in this instruction manual. You guys know I would love... I would love to read this all out, but we just don't got the time. There we go. I was blocking some words. Hey, you know what? Uh, four in a line game. There we go. There's the instructions for four in a line. Can we get some answers here? In this game, the player controls positions for laying chesses. He who connects four chesses in the same color in a line will be the winner. What? Um, if the one game is over, you may press start in... The player holds black chest of the computer. Yeah, if the computer's supposed to be the white pieces, they never moved. So, I'm not sure what you're talking about, instructions. Uh, soccer. What do you got to say about hockey, huh? Uh, it imitates a real hockey match between the player and the computer. No, it doesn't. Uh, or double play. The player is in light-colored coat, and the side-wearing dark-colored coat represents the computer. Oh, this... This translation, it, these are always gold to me. I'm not seeing anything else too juicy, though, but I'm sure if you... Oh, look, there's the very confusing table that tells us all the controls for every game in one go. Shoot slash fight for balls, says A1 button in soccer slash hockey. See? Soccer slash hockey. That proves it. They're the same game. Case closed. Uh, well, while I was hoping for a bit of a more original pop station... At least I could say now I have my own Neo Quad games. <laughs> Is that an accomplishment? I, if anything, I think it's an accomplishment for the garbage pan. Um, garbage pan or garbage can? Hmm. I don't think a garbage pan is a thing. I'll have to look that up. I can look that up on my Neo Quad games laptop. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching while we delve into some pop station fun for the first time in years and years. Who knows? Maybe we'll find some more coming up soon. All right. Until next time, everybody. See ya. Thank you guys so much for watching. Huge shout out to the people listed here. These are the Patreon supporters that allow me to keep doing what I do on YouTube. Wouldn't be able to do it without you guys. There's a Discord server in the description if you want to join there. And on Twitch, I stream every week on Tuesday. Come hang out with us.